We arrive in the far north of Yunnan, in Deqing Prefecture. Here, in the temple town of Falasi, the Meili Mountains border Tibet. It is the destination of the devoted, who come here to walk around the bases of these mountains in a grand circumambulation. The pilgrims are now joined by a substantial number of tourists who make the journey here almost exclusively to snap a 5A photo at dawn. We have come to see the Mignon Glacier, a 12 kilometre long sheet of ice which is all too rapidly melting into the Mekong River below. In general, the whole, um, the whole glacial mass on the Tibetan Plateau has, has shrunk by 7% in the last four decades, in the last 40 years, in terms of the area. The question with glacier is, when they melt, they, they are not only shrinking, they are also thinning down. And that volume loss is, is way more dramatic than we're talking about the 7%. The melting of the plateau has an immediate significance for downstream nations. Glaciologists warn that almost two-thirds of the plateau's glaciers could disappear within the next 40 years. Effectively, the origins of the Mekong could dry up, giving the river a completely seasonal flow. You know, the more we know about this region, the more uh, important we think it is to not only the local people, but also to, to Asian uh, populations in general, because all the major river systems in Asia find their headwaters com coming from the Tibetan Plateau. And if the glaciers shrink to a certain mass, then the meltwater is, is so tiny in terms of feeding the rivers that it is that time that we're going to see a lot of major consequences in terms of especially water shortage along these major rivers. The end of the glacier is a mass of broken, dirty ice, melting from numerous rivulets. The stream itself is surprisingly large, swollen with the water stained dark grey from the colour of the rocks ground beneath the ice. This is merely a fraction of the ice of the plateau, but it is a stark reminder of the immediacy of climate change to this region. As we see it, a, a warning sign to everybody, it's that, you know, uh, we're doing something to the whole planet and and that area is uh, is special because it it tells us much faster much earlier to uh, to the change that we're all having over, over this world.